Hello everyone and welcome back to Reentry in Early Access version 0.9831 and I am going to try the Mercury mission in free play and so we're going to try Mercury Atlas um, I don't think I want to do T-90 uh, so I got well I mean a cold and dark I assume C and D means cold yeah it says cold and dark panel all right uh, they didn't even go through that in the tutorials so I've done the tutorials and I want to get serious here I guess we will just use the checklist it is my goal to sort of test things out here uh, we are presumably close to 1.0 so we might as well test things out and I guess a full cold and dark free play of the Mercury Atlas mission is the best way to do it no random failures in this case okay reach out if there's anything you need well yeah, well, I don't know what I need yet, but we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, so checklists. Interior inspection, let's see. Okay, I'll, I'll close that pad for now. So, yes, we have to go to the back and get to... The, <laughs> this is the hardest part right here. Uh, on. Okay, battery 2 is on the other side. No, I'm going to flick all the switches here first. And then go to the other side. Thank you very much. Okay. That one's a side one for some reason. Uh, okay. It may or may not be easier without track IR. I don't know. All right. Phase shifter fuse. All right. Okay, I think we just knocked these all true. I mean, to one, really. So they're on the number one bus or whatever. Okay, emergency. Oh, there's more down there. Okay, now there's more down there. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on. Okay. All right, and then these fuses. I don't think I did the full cold and dark. Uh, come on, click that. Uh, cold and dark version in previous attempts with reentry. So, arm the auto retro jettison now. If you say so. Retro delay inst. Okay. So, instantaneous for the retro delay. Better not accidentally push anything that would actually ignite that. Photo lights, cabin light, both. Well, now we have light. Well, frankly, I would have probably turned on the lights right after I connected the batteries, but okay. Uh, TLM low frequency on. Don't have any idea what that is. Fire retro push button guard on. Fire retro push button the guard is on and the jettison retro the guards are installed. Control fuel quantity check. Well, I guess we should we probably should have checked the guards were on before we did the uh, retro delay and uh, activating the auto retro jettison. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, control fuel quantity check. Okay, so that is those, and yes, they're both 100%. Rate of descent, zero. Yeah, it's good to have that calibrated. Yes, it is zero. Altimeter check, that is set to zero. Yes. Satellite clock check time of day. Okay, well, I think we should just calm that, maybe? Did, have we connected the comms? Probably not. Satellite clock. Oh, it's probably... I mean, they should highlight it, right? But anyway, I'll just check. Uh, up in the corner, we have a time. And... Well, it depends how you want to read that. <laughs> I think that the clock here... No, I have no idea. Retrograde time is not... I'm, I'm just gonna skip that. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Check time from launch zero. Yes, that's important and fine. Time to retrograde. What is it supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I'm gonna assume that's fine. Rate indicator is centered. Yes. Attitude indicators check. Well, I don't know what they're at, supposed to be at, so I'm gonna assume pitch is just a little bit off of 90. That seems fine. Roll probably doesn't matter too much. Yaw 180, I guess is correct. Verify time zero button. Cover removed. Oh, we remove it now? All right. Fair enough. Um, cabin pressure check. Well, we have full pressure right now. Cabin air temperature. Um, we're at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. A suit environment indicator. Um, you're really hot. 80 eight and otherwise good PSI oxygen quantity primary 100% oxygen quantity yes those are both 100% okay cabin fan normal a s c s a c bus normal standby battery is on and oh we want we're setting it to the isolated battery i guess why <laughs> um shouldn't we just set that to normal i don't know i guess we're checking voltage ac voltmeter 115 volts that's dc voltmeter where's the uh, there it is 115 uh, don't you mean 150 um Maybe we have to be... Well, it's not 115. Hmm. I don't think there's any setting that's going to give us 115 either. Um, yeah, I don't remember. It's supposed to be 115 on the AC. Okay, anyway. UHF select high. Uh, that is low power. Oh, um, so it's the high power that you want. Okay. Transmit off. Transmit off. Uh, audio cabin press tone. So we're activating all the warning things, I guess. So now we're going to get noises. Suit cabin temp normal and inverter temp okay maneuver on mip maneuver i have no idea what this does but uh okay at t minus 40 start abort capability checklist okay so time warping okay uh, approaching t minus 40 close enough to get that checklist MIP and meter normal. And meter normal. Arm squib. Arm squib. DC selector ISO. DC selector ISO. Well, that's 28. Request abort compatibility test. Request abort compat capability, not compatibility. Capability. I, uh... I did request it. They didn't come back to me with any comms. That's on high. UHF normal. I mean, how am I supposed to do that when the transmit wasn't on? Uh, let me try again. Monitor bus voltage, battery current, and abort light. And I saw the DC amps go up a bit. Uh, I don't see the abort light saying anything. Uh, I'm worried that they didn't actually call me back for anything. High power, transmit, UHF. Maybe we should try HF here. Transmit off definitely won't get me a uh, abort capability check. It looks like it just pumps up the DC amps a little bit. It doesn't do anything on the abort, so maybe that's all it is. Okay. Um... All right, so T minus 20. Let's time warp again. 
It just said monitor, it didn't say what should be happening. Abbreviated interior check. Okay. Retro delay normal. Well, good. I like it normal. Uh, control fuel primary 100%. Yes. We've checked those. Note cabin pressure indicator. Yeah. Cabin temp still 80. Suit temp still 88. Pressure. I really want a cooler, but the oxygens are fine. Okay, DC selector. Main. Transmit off. Well, fine. Beacon continuous. Okay, at T minus 10, start full internal power checklist. I mean, we are still on the umbilical, so I guess. Oh, I have time warp too much. Oops. Okay, well, let's get, uh... Request blockhouse to switch to internal power. Okay, hold on. Hold countdown. Okay, request... Uh, switch to internal power. Oh, they're communicating with me. Well, I guess I can't request that while we've, uh, held countdown. Okay. Um, oh, well, they're not communicating very well with me. Uh, I assume I've switched to internal power, but I'm not sure. So, I've done something wrong. I time warped too much. Typical. Isol battery up. Okay, and that's normal. All right, uh, let's start final checks. While we are not actually running the clock. Hopefully that's all right. Oh, I just clicked something I shouldn't have. Okay. Launch control ready. Transmit UHF. Perform radio test. Okay, radio check. Okay, looks like the, we can do stuff while the countdown is held. Oh yeah, the time zero cover is removed. DC selector battery one. It seems fine. So I guess we're on internal power maybe, I don't know. Okay, DC amps like that. Okay, final checks, so I guess we're ready to go. Let me just scan the cabin to see that there's nothing I think is untoward. Okay, let's resume countdown. Let's see if it goes. Briefly, uh, external view. It is an atlas. It is, in fact, an atlas. Always good to check. Don't want a redstone. Okay, countdown. Okay, seems like we're good. Roger. And we've got clock. Operating. We're underway. Yep. Loud and clear. Roger, we're programming and roll okay. Yeah, there is... A little bumpy it doesn't about here. seem like there's roll. I mean, that... Well, there wasn't much roll. Roger. Two, one, mark. 20 seconds, yep. Okay. So, our cabin pressure is going down as expected. through some clouds and 25,000 feet
They're awful quiet in Mission Control. 70,000 feet, 1 minute and 30 seconds, about 40 seconds till the booster engines separate. We are at 3 G's of acceleration, Hot cabin pressure is at 5.5-ish, and everything seems to be normal, though once again I'd like it cooler. I wonder if that, I'll wait until I'm in orbit. Two minutes. Okay, so booster staging at two minutes and twelve seconds. Jetson Tower is ready to go. Tower is jettisoned. Okay. That's it, Madra systems, and that's it. Okay. Eco. Oh, amber, green, yeah. Auto retro, yes, that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, retro Jess and Fuse false. And emergency retro jet. Start Seco checklist. Okay. Well, there's the planet. We're pitching slightly down, you can see, because the G forces, the thrust weight ratio is so high that Atlas always had to pitch down a little bit in order to control the ascent, otherwise it would have a lopsided orbit. So that is correct. Just waiting for a capsule separation. I probably don't need that checklist there. I guess we can do an external view right now. That's what it looks like. Uh, this camera. There we go. That's more the view I would like. Alright. Map appears ago. We are no longer at Florida. Okay, Seco. And the uh, capsule is separated. Orbit. DC selector main. Okay, landing bag off. Oh, that's that one. That's what that was. Okay, emergency retro sequence fuse false. And emergency drug deploy fuse false. Okay. So we are in orbit, it's automatically rotating. And let's make sure we are in orbit. Altitude check. Well, okay, I wanted a full orbit check though. Oh well. Yes, I'll take what I can get. 81.1 nautical miles. It says retrograde time 60206. 
so that's pre-programmed. Time to retrograde is there. 3 hours, 53 minutes, and 22 seconds, and counting down. So, we have a plan. I guess we are go for three orbits, from the look of it. And that would be normal John Glenn style. So, I am going to just uh, put it on fly-by-wire. Command and pull that. And I'm not going to do anything for a little while. <laughs> a little time warp. Uh, I just wanted to save fuel. I don't want the auto fuel using stuff anyway. There goes the booster. Okay, we are over. Oh, oh, oh. We are over the Sahara. I will do some very light turns. Now, we can apparently get better earth textures than I have here right now. I went with the low one. It, apparently, with uh, 6 gigabytes of video RAM, you can get the high textures, so... Me, with the Gemini mission, I'll try those and see if it causes any problems. Well, that seems pretty zeroed. Alright, let's time warp like that. Whoa! Map functioning nicely. Indian Ocean. And we got a little bit of Australia there. Oh, yeah, more Australia. Mainly lights, city lights. And here comes North America again. Let's see. That's Mexico. And lots of clouds on the Gulf Coast. And somewhere down there, Florida happened. <laughs> but we have definitely completed an orbit, so we've got that. Among the things they didn't tell us in the tutorials is exactly when to start retrograde because we didn't do that part for the Atlas mission. I guess I'll be splashing down in the Pacific. Well, that, that's retrograde burn though, not the actual splashdown time. So, okay, we have completed our second orbit, passed over to the United States again. So, I'm going to start looking at the... Uh, let me get, get it off a of fly-by-wire now. Okay. Don't know if I need to do a gyro alignment or anything. Okay, mm pre-retro. Well, uh, time to return minus 30. Okay. Retro time. Uh, so we're at T mi uh, well, T minus 45. Let's time warp a little bit. Okay, that is time to retrograde minus 30. So, suit temp 7. So, that means fans full on, or as cold as possible. And inverter temp 7. Okay. Alright, then we wait to T minus 15 minutes. I really like the map. <laughs> The little globe, very important. Okay, so yes, we are at T minus 15 and get the emergency retro fuse things in and maintain retro attitude auto or manual. Well, uh, we should be in auto. Hopefully, it knows which attitude it's supposed to be in, right? Um, it says attitude select retro, so. Start Retro Checklist. T minus five minutes. Five minutes to retrograde light should be illuminated. Well, let's time warp a bit. Okay, four, three, two, one. Light. Okay, well, there's the T minus uh, five minutes to retrograde light. All right. 
Uh, we just wait until we're at zero. Okay, fine. Um, let's do a sanity check outside. Well, we can't do a sanity check outside. We can't even see the bloody thing. Okay. We'll just have to trust that we are pro properly retrograde. It is nighttime, and it's gotta be nighttime when we do the retro burn. I mean, it says pitch zero, roll zero, yaw basically zero, so. I suppose that's with reference to retrograde. No, it's doing some stuff. Just have to wait for the retro sequence to light and the retro attitude to light. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, both lights came on. 20 seconds. We should get other stuff happening. There's that tone. Okay. Ah. That's not what I want. There. Okay. Fire Retro Amber while firing. Yes. To be... Green when it's completed. And then we start re-entry checklist. And then attitude select will be for re-entry. Okay. Green and then just in retro. Arm. I, I forgot to arm it. Shoot. Um, I wonder why we didn't have a thing that said to arm that. Okay, well, I'm gonna manually just in retro. Okay. Maybe that's part of the retro uh, re-entry checklist. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I just did it manually. After retro jettison. Oh well, I just did that. Uh, attitude select re-entry. Uh, and then we wait for the tele light to go green for the 0.05 G's. Okay, we have a retrograde or re-entry pitch. We certainly have descent. We're over Australia right now. So yeah, probably we'll end up in the Pacific off of Australia like this. I don't know if I can time warp during this part. What do you think? No, well, it's letting me. I'll go 20x. Oh, it took me out of time warp, so. And we are at 0.05 G's. And rate indicator. We have a roll. Uh, we still can't see, squat. We're, just, we're rolling a little bit, but not 10 degrees per second. Nope. We have re-entry. I'm not getting a whole lot of roll rate. Well, we got some, but I mean... 10 degrees per second is more than this. I don't know why the fuse for emergency drone ploy ploy is off. I'm gonna put that back in. That seems important. All right. Well, I don't know about the 10 degrees, but I'm gonna pull up the landing checklist before 30,000 feet. Well, we're not at 100,000 yet, so there's that. 
Oh. Well, I put in that fuse. It is true now. <laughs> we are we are before 30,000 feet, so, you know. It counts. Very gradual re-entry here. In fact, the descent rate is moderating. Please, I want to go down faster. I've had enough of this knocking. Oh, now we're below 100,000 feet. Okay, waiting for a drogue deploy. Oh, I heard something. No. Ah. That's the O2 thing, yeah. Uh, did the drogue actually deploy? It should be green, right? Well, it is out there. Okay. Um, did I not? Oh, emergency O2 handle out. Okay, landing bag auto. Okay, we've got the landing bag, I think. And the main chute's there, too. Main, yes. Okay. We've got various sounds. I thought we were supposed to transmit on HF now. Well, let me we'll wait on that. Press reg handle. Okay. Uh, out. Yeah. Landing bag tail light green. Yeah. Heard that. After impact. Well, I thought we were supposed to go to HF, so I'm going to go to HF. Um, that is saying that we should turn that off after we splash down. Alright. So, we are just north of Indonesia, it looks like. Okay, can we time warp? No. We have to sit through the whole parachute business. Wonder, I suppose there's a way to create a custom scenario where you can stay up for longer than just three orbits. I wonder if there's a way to configure the free flight in order to stay up for more than three orbits. I don't know, uh, there wasn't a request more orbits thing, was there? Message Capcom. Hmm. Okay, we'll splash down about 12 feet per second. Okay, that's it. And they never let me do the last bits. I'll, I'll take the mission accomplished, though. Alright. We won't turn the ASCS bus off. Oh. I'll, I'm actually getting the water spots on my camera instead of on the window. Hmm. Anyway, exit session. Alright, so that was the Mercury Atlas mission from a cold and dark start. The whole deal. And next time I will continue on with the Gemini mission. I've gotten apparently 100 points. I'm in level 1. So i got 100 points for that free play. Uh, we will see about my progress in the future. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.